Tom's like a similar build, similar height, throws similar shots to Jared Gordon, who as you know I'm fighting and he's getting bingoed. What? Tell us where we're up to, like, what are we doing? Weekend in London, lads. I want to go to gym in London and spa with Thomas Paul. He's one of the only people in the whole of the UK that said yeah to spa with me. You know what I mean? All these gangsters in the UK go on, like, oh, talk about me, oh, Paddy, he's not even good, he's overrated, he's a little girl. And then none of them will come and spa me. You know what I mean? About three people said yeah, that's it. We've got the Pub Talk podcast with Ray Parlin now in Brazil. Then after that, I've got to do a UFC interview. Maybe have a little explore around London, see what we can do. I don't mind London yet. I like Liverpool more, obviously, but I don't mind London. It's nice, it's just everyone's in a rush. Everyone likes to bump into the head and snarl, yeah? So I like it when you meet nice people in London. You like going to London? The fellas no, it's not really. It's too busy and too expensive. Who's this lad? It's the little breakdown of this carbon fighting. He tries to pitter patter his way to a win. I try and knock you clean out with one shot, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick a card at random, yeah? Every one of them is different. Yeah. Right, put your finger in to make it as random as you can. Finger it? Just finger it as far random as you can, yeah? You can take that card. Yeah. Yeah, have a look. Put it in halfway. Yeah. Push it down. Take the top card. <laughs> oh, <fat. laughs> While we're in London, might as well get some training in, so we're gonna come and spar Thomas Paul. Uh, he's 11 and 4, he's a good fighter, know what I mean? He's got a good few knockouts, I think all his wins are by finish. He's fought on the contender series and that's so good, a good level of sparring and he's deaf, you know what I mean? He's got a disability and he's he's spreading the word for deaf people to be honest. He's letting it be known that no matter what your disability is, you can do whatever you want to do. Lovely to get, a, get some random with him, it's nice to show his story on the vlog. How do you feel about sparring Paddy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. they're not just being good. And so looking forward to spar with him to see like, you know, see what level he's at and uh, see what he can do. Yeah, I'm trying to show the world that um, you know, what they, they can do anything. Like, you know, like, yeah, and like, so they want to show like, you know, they like push other people down and um, like say, oh, they can't do anything. He wants to improve that. Thanks, When you spar with someone, you're about to go into the spar. Do you get the butterflies now? Yeah, a little, little butterflies, lad. But as I say, it's, it's not like we're going to try and kill each other. You know what I mean? He's a nice, friendly fellow with a nice, nice team. You know what I mean? And we're the same. We're not, we go as hard as each other go. And I know for the fact he's not going to try and take me head off, so neither am I. As I say, it's always great getting around him with someone new, someone that you don't know. You get a different feel. He's an inspiration, lad. An absolute inspiration. What he does for the deaf community is absolutely amazing. He shows everyone that it doesn't matter what disability you're born with or where you come from or anything. If you believe in yourself and you want to do something, you can do it. It's almost like a similar build, similar height, throw similar shots to Jared Gordon, who as you know, I'm fighting and he's getting bingoed. 
watch. Well, uh, I've seen Paddy before, and he's a big lad. His striking really impressed me. I think people are sleeping, they think he's more of a grappler. I think he can do it all, mate. And he's a good laugh as well, so, you know. Him and Thomas had a good little scrap today, and now they're having a bit of banter. It's a good day. Uh, thank you very much, Thomas. I can't appreciate it. Look, as I say, the only person who would smile with me Paddy, in the whole of the UK. Right, so pub talk today, bit of fun. Ray Parler, Alan Brazil, setting a pub, just gonna chat about life. Sounds Easy good. stuff, Sounds so I'll talk you through the questions to go in. I don't even know if I'm gonna get food over the whole shit, you know. Let me introduce you to this gent. Ray, hey, how are you doing, buddy? How are you doing, buddy? How are you doing? Yes, lad. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Good. Honestly, I think it'd be a fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can tell by his uh, personality, he's going to be a right laugh, and it's a good show, and also, we, we're a bit serious as well, uh, a bit of mental health stuff, and uh, I know Paddy's got a few a bit of that as well. We want to concentrate a little bit about sports people who have encountered mental health problems. Every different guest we get, I'm like, wow, I can't believe that. Yeah. So it's really important. And Paddy's episode will be one of the best because he's brilliant. Yeah. He opened up, fantastic insight of what he went through, where he's got to, and where he's going. And I'm really hoping he can get his dream, that fire at Anfield. That would be amazing. Yeah. Me and Alan are going to come as well. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Well, look, that's unfortunately that's time at the bar. A big, big thanks to Paddy Pimblett, Paddy the Baddy for being so open. Uh, we'll see you next time and good luck in Vegas, pal. Thank you very much. Really nice one for having me. Lovely, well done. That was brilliant, lad. One of the coolest things I've done, lad. As I say, just chilling, having a chat like I'm in a boozer with the lads. You can't go wrong. One of the best we've done so far, and we've had some big names Noel Gallagher, Vinnie Jones. And yeah, it's just brilliant. Mental health, spot on. Loved it, mate. Just now at the MMA clinic at uh, the gym in London, and we're gonna do the UFC interview. Get this out of the way. I'm a better striker, got better jiu jitsu, got better wrestling. I want to have the whole crowd behind me. He's, he's gonna be like, oh, what's going on here? We're in America, and everyone's backing me. I'm better looking than him. You know what I mean? Like, what, what, what else do you want me to say, lad? But he is a good fighter, he is. But as I say, there's levels to this game. We meet a lot of fighters in the in the stuff that we do, and they come with a range of different sort of skills and personalities. And then you just meet someone like Paddy, and it's completely explosive and different and unpredictable. The thing about Paddy that stands out is the thing that nobody can bottle. It's the thing that um, everyone wished they could invent or have or apply or say or do or be or feel. And you can't make it up. It's it's originality. It's the real deal. It's that star quality that you can't yeah you can't make up. And he has it. He has got bucket loads of it. So. How's that lad? Sound lad. Standard procedure lad. Just knocking interviews out for shits and giggles. <laughs> So what's Paddy up to here? He's just in the sauna with Eric at the minute. Eric's got weight for tomorrow. But Paddy's getting himself climatised for when he does his weight cut with the... Like he's in the bath and the heat and stuff like that. So he gets him ready to cut weight himself in a few weeks' time. <laughs> I can't do that one. I can't do that one. I can't do that one. <laughs> Eric's making weight lad, he's fighting on Sunday, so yes. gonna make weight for tomorrow morning. It's nice to have someone in the sauna with yeah. you, you know what I mean? It's better than being in there on your own and I need to get a little bit heat acclimatised myself anyway to get used to it for when I do my backs to make weight and this time in three weeks because it's eight hours ahead I will weigh in. I'll, I'll be drinking and probably have had a little bite to eat by then. Yeah, it is like a big circus around the fight, especially with the UFC because I know I'll have more media than anyone, even though there's a title fight on the card and I know one contender fight. I'll have more media than anyone, I'll have to do more interviews, i have to do more stuff for socials. But that's the nature of the beast, lad. When you're the bad man, that's what you gotta do, lad, you know what I mean? I can't wait, lad. I've been preparing for this my whole life, lad. It's happening. I'm having a little explore just at the Houses of Parliament, as you can see. And it's Big Ben, lad. Where's Big Ben? Oh, yeah. Big Ben as well, didn't even notice that, yeah. Big Ben's there. Down on Street Army, you can't even get near it though. And then why the tourists come to London to go and see Down on Street? You can't even see the house. It's oh, pointless. Hey. That's the end of the episode, people. Thank you for watching. I'm going to Vegas real soon. You just know what's happening. Jared Gordon, I respect you, I like you as a person, but as a fighter you're not on my level bro. 
and I'm coming to take your chin home with me. That was London. Like, comment, subscribe. See you next week.